Hey, thanks for clicking on the video. Let me tell you a story. Maybe it'll seem familiar to you. On a day just like any other, you find yourself once again wanting to play Minecraft, just like in the good old days. And what do you know, your friends want to play too. So one night you get a server going, and with a huge amount of excitement flowing through you guys, you all hop into a fresh new world. And it's a great time! The game isn't quite the same as you remember, but it's still the same old Minecraft that you guys know and love. You're playing a crazy amount and loving it. But after a couple weeks or so, so the excitement isn't there anymore. Y'all would really love to make amazing builds and redstone contraptions just like you see on YouTube and Twitch, but whenever you try and start a new project, you don't get very far. And just as quick as it came, the server begins to die. You have less and less motivation to play, your friends start dropping out, and eventually, after enough time, the server is nothing more than a vague memory. If you're anything like me, then this story is probably all too familiar. For many people, it's the classic cycle of Minecraft. That deep burning desire to play hits you all of a sudden and then disappears as quick as it came. But how do we change that? Well, let me show you. My name is Leon, and I'll be giving you guys the best advice on how to stay motivated in survival Minecraft. It's definitely really hard to find the time, energy, and focus to make amazing creations like you see on servers like Hermitcraft, but if you keep these tips in mind, you'll have a much easier time accomplishing your Minecraft goals, whether it be a mega base, some giant redstone farms, or anything else. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Enjoy! 7 quick tips for staying motivated in survival Minecraft. Big shoutouts to everyone who voted in my poll from a while ago, y'all are the best. Understand what you're trying to get out of Minecraft. Alright guys, I'm gonna be real with you, I'm not gonna pull any of that clickbait stuff here, none of that stupid stuff. I'm gonna just give you guys my best piece of advice right now. So what I'm really trying to say is that before you start on any projects, you gotta have goals. Before we can make any real progress towards, well, <laughs> anything, we gotta have a concrete, well-defined goal in mind. And that could be pretty much anything. Maybe you want to build a giant mega base, or you want to work on your texturing and detail. Maybe you want to invent a new redstone contraption, or just vibe out with your friends. All of these sound like a really dope time, and a lot of fun. But if none of these sound appealing to you, maybe do some thinking on what you really enjoy about Minecraft. Many people think they enjoy Minecraft, but in reality they enjoy the nostalgic memories of playing Minecraft as a child. And if that's the case, there's nothing wrong with that, you just might not enjoy the game as much coming back to it now. If you're just playing Minecraft because why not? Well, that's totally valid. I just wouldn't set your expectations super high on what you're trying to accomplish. But maybe that's not the problem. Maybe you do really enjoy Minecraft and you have a good goal in mind, but you still find yourself getting burned out. Well, let's see what we can do. Break out of your habits! Minecraft is an old game, and even though this game has changed a lot since 2009, I can't always say the same about its players. One thing that I've noticed from playing Minecraft with a lot of my friends is that a lot of people fall back on old habits really easily. Especially if you've owned the game for a long time, I bet that you have a specific way that you always play Minecraft. You build a certain way, you farm certain crops, you live in certain biomes, your house probably is in the same general style, and that's okay. But if you're feeling unmotivated, and you're also not taking advantage of newer features, then it's probably time to broaden your horizons. I've seen so many times people will pick up the game again and just play it like it's 2012 all over again. And I'm sitting here thinking like, hey, <laughs> you know they've added stuff to the game in the past 10 years, right? Like, you don't need to branch mine, farm wheat, build up your little rectangle oak wood and cobblestone house, like, <laughs> if that's your thing, I'm not gonna stop you. But if you want to enjoy this game for longer, try playing more of it. By the way, if you want some more suggestions for how to kind of mix up your gameplay style, stay tuned for tip number four. I'll be getting right back to that. 
Do some soul searching. Find what aspects of Minecraft speak to you the most and which ones don't. I'm pretty confident that everyone who enjoys playing Minecraft has some specific aspect about the game that they're really passionate about. It can be as vague or as specific as you want, but I would bet that everyone here has got some little thing that they just absolutely love doing. Sometimes it's not immediately obvious or you might not even know it at all. But the fact that we're all here as Minecraft players means that something is continually drawing us to this game. And I encourage you all to sit down, think it through, and find what that is for you. And if you already know or you have an idea, comment below what it is. I'm really curious what you guys have to say. For me, it's building of course, but more specifically, I find myself endlessly fascinated by the increasingly creative things people do with our limited texture and color palette. Seeing a block used in a really creative way or a collection of blocks making a unique shape or texture is just so exciting. <laughs> if you aren't sure what speaks to you, that's okay. You're in a really good position to branch out and explore a variety of different things. Let's see what we can find together. Try exploring a different style of Minecraft gameplay. Building off of what I was talking about in tip two, there's so many ways to play this game and so many different skills you can learn. I'm sure that most of you know that Minecraft skills are generally split up into three categories, building, redstone, and combat. Chances are you mostly dabble in one of these, and well, if you're following my channel, it's probably building. That's already such a broad term. We've got terraforming, organic shapes, custom foliage, texturing, detailing, color theory, the list goes on and on and on. And of course, redstone can mean anything from farms and contraptions to abusing game mechanics and glitches or straight up building whole computers in Minecraft. I don't know how people are doing that, but go off. Combat, oh man, combat is arguably the biggest aspect of them all. Seriously, we've got everything from speed running to parkour to manhunt, mini games, bed wars, like actual PVP. <laughs> Minecraft's got a surprisingly crazy high skill set for just being a funny little block game. Anyways, my point is that if you're having trouble finding what really ignites your passion in Minecraft, try exploring a bunch of different pathways. I find myself really enjoying the building process in this game and watching myself improve over the years. But of course, not everyone is like me. Sometimes you just need a goal to achieve, a simple reason for playing. Give yourself a reason for playing. <laughs> all right, so these previous tips are cool and all, but let's be real. It's been super conceptual and vague up until this point. Sometimes you just need to be told, do this or work on this. And that's what drives you. As a sandbox game, Minecraft is often a bit lacking in the whole concrete goals they give you front. But if we look closely, we can find and make some really fun ones. Let me just rattle off a few that I think could appeal to all kinds of players. First First of all, try beating the game. You'd be surprised how many people have never killed the Ender Dragon. If you haven't killed the Ender Dragon yet, what are you waiting for? Go get on that. <laughs> Collect every block, item, or mob. You'd be surprised how much of a grind it is. And making a giant museum or armory hall or zoo to display your hard work is very satisfying. Get all the achievements. It's actually really, really hard if you're not like a crazy cracked out speedrunner. This one will definitely take you a while. Defeat every boss. Honestly, very few Minecraft players can say that they've defeated the Ender Dragon, Wither, Warden, and an Elder Guardian all in one Minecraft world. I certainly haven't. Or maybe you want to set a more specific, more low-key building goal. Like, say, only making organic style builds, or building without using any stone. You know, the most common building block? <laughs> Give it a try sometime. You might really enjoy the challenge. If you feel like Minecraft is too slow for your liking, then try to optimize your routine. Kind of like what I was talking about before with people playing the game like it's 2012, I really want to mention how they've added so many cool features and mechanics that really speed up the game. After all, if you're just trying to make cool builds, you don't really need to play through the early game. Things like bone meal farms, villager trading halls, shulker farms, elytra, dye farms, concrete makers, piglin bartering stations, and many other little techniques all exist to get you more items more quickly. No one likes to have to manually gather materials by hand. It's boring. So if you're still farming stone, concrete, bricks, or whatever other common materials the old-fashioned way, give some thought to these newfangled techniques. They really might save you a ton of hours. 
how do the pros do it so well? It's very easy to look at these professional Minecrafters that you see on places like Hermitcraft or the Empire server and completely overlook the massive grind that goes into each and every project. And I don't blame you. If we saw every minute of behind the scenes footage for these builds, we'd be here all day. And then some. But the fact of the matter is, if you're gonna make builds on this scale, you simply have to pace yourself. I've had this problem before. You get really hyped about Minecraft, you got some crazy idea that you can't wait to pull off, and you do like a bunch of all-nighters playing the game non-stop. But as much fun as it is to breeze through the game, once you hit a certain point, the burnout hits hard. And so I've learned, don't use up all your Minecraft enthusiasm in a week. As exciting as it is to start a new Minecraft world for the first time, especially with friends. If you want to get big projects done, you're best off going slow and steady. Because, well, slow and steady wins the race. If you made it this far, you've probably enjoyed the video, so a like on it would be greatly appreciated. And of course, if you have any suggestions for future videos, I would love to hear them down in the comments. Until next time, gamers, this has been Leon, and I'll see you all in the next 7 Quick Tips video. Take care.